go. It's another day. Um, we're here in Dublin, and uh, I've got to say, troops, it's not Singapore weather at no, the moment. No, no, it's, no. Uh, man's got the hoodie on. Yeah, it looks cloudy out there. It looks like a bit of rain, but mm. we're off to um, an event uh, where there should be a load of Arsenal fans. So it's gonna be good to meet a load of Arsenal um, Dublin Gooners. Uh, DT thinks it's summer, so he's got his shorts on. Yeah, he still thinks he's in Singapore. Sun's gone, man. Some of us have actually been out today. We have been sat indoors, and I know how humid it actually still is, even though it's cloudy. So you'll find out when your balls are sweated later. Oh, by the way, yeah. is it early in the morning I'm and he's there. still he's he's so aggressive, yeah. isn't he? Oh, by the way, yeah. Got, <laughs> oh, by the way, we got we got Instagram, yeah. Come on, got that blue tick. You don't know, right? Really. Yeah, I've got blue tick. Blue as well. verified now. Chief. That's why he's angry, isn't it? Because he ain't got his blue tick. He ain't got his tick, blue tick, You're gonna get it, man. You're gonna get it, man. Don't don't worry, like man. an ice cream, man. <laughs> Let's go. People's champion, you have to look after the man then first. You know what I mean? Oh, man, the guy's always angry, man. Stop what you're doing and listen. Don't worry, Robbie. The weather's going to be beautiful, said DT. Shut up, you slapped I always trust your judgment, man. You don't worry about that, man. Yeah? Come in. Everything, touch your head. If, everything he says is right. The weather's going to be great. <laughs> TV. I'm here with Paul Brown, who's the chairman of the Dublin Arsenal Supporters Club. Um, we're here downstairs in the event. There's loads of people gathering because they've got a special event going on here today. Of course, Arsenal are in Dublin to take on Chelsea. And um, these guys are the guys that hold it up for Arsenal over here in Ireland. You've got a great event going on soon. We've, uh, you've got Saul Campbell up here? Yeah, Saul Campbell will be here at 2 o'clock. And we were with him last night as well. He had a good turnout last night. So we're looking for a good turnout today as well. So we're looking forward to this afternoon and for the rest of the day and night to have a good session. Would top four be a successful season for Arsenal this time around with a new, new De house? Definitely. Yeah? I think for sure. I think they'll get top four. It's a fantastic season. Right. Um, it's definitely something to build on. That's what I'm saying. I think he's got a lot of players. I think hopefully it will surprise a lot of people in the league um, with the energy and the organisation. And I think different rhetoric in the in the um, in the change rooms will, will definitely help players. Um, and everybody comes with their every everybody new manager comes with their own luck, you know, and uh, their own destiny. And everyone starts journeying together and finding their feet and playing together and knowing the strengths and weaknesses of each individual. And then that's what it's all about, you know. So hopefully, uh, if he gets top four, it, it's a wonderful season. It's come out the Grand Social, like, man's going to get some food. Man is fucking licked. It's fucking lit. Man's getting hella love from the Irish Gooners, get me? Like, it's just like we're back in Singapore, fam. I swear down, blood. Like the support, the support is amazing, fam. Like big up all the Irish gooners. You get me? We're loving it out here. We're about to go get some Nando's, cause you know Troops loves chicken. You get me? We say you ready for Nando's, yeah? I'm starving, man. That's mad. Yeah, I know this, in there. this fuck is just fucking moaning. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let's Listen, go. Let's I go. Thought, I thought Singapore was mad, but yeah. this is mad. Fam, this is Irish Singapore, are crazy, man. Singapore part two, blood. Irish people are crazy. Top of the morning. Let's go get some fucking grub. Listen, we're about to go to the game. It's Arsenal versus uh, Chelsea today. Um, really looking forward to the game. Um, you know what? I th this is going to be a good test for Arsenal. I think the, the hardest test since we've uh, been on these tours because they're playing against another English team in Chelsea. Chelsea won't want to lose. Arsenal won't want to lose. I've seen a lot of these friendlies over the years. When you play another English club, um, none of them really want to lose. You saw the other day when Man United lost to Liverpool, their fans were in meltdown. So I, I don't think we'll get to that state, but this is going to be a great test for Unai Emery. Predictions, troops? 2 1 Arsenal. 2 1 Arsenal. 2 1. I fancy Arsenal to win as well. I think Arsenal will have a strong team out. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see Sarri up against Unai Emery. Let's go check it out. Oh, 
away and listen. Is that, and I, I know I'm Chelsea fans might argue with me, but you can pan around and see most of the fans here are Arsenal fans. 80% Arsenal, from what I can see, 78%. So we've got some great support here, um, and it's looking like a quite a strong team. I haven't seen the Chelsea team yet, I haven't seen the lineup. I'm looking forward to that. This is the proper test for Arsenal. in Singapore, isn't it? He saved one today. He saved, saved the penalty in the first well, half. So it's a good save as well. It's a good save as well, still. I think we'll win our penalties, watch. I've got to say, we deserve that. We played really well in the second half. And sort of about 20 minutes into the first half, we started to play well. We commanded in the midfield. Ozil was excellent. Uh, Lacazette was excellent when he came on. Wobi was excellent when he came on. Defensively, we tightened up at the back. Um, in the second half, I thought Bellerino was poor in the game. But defensively, sort of La Socrates, I thought, had a decent game in the second half. But, I don't know, what was this penalty stuff, man? It's 1-1. One, one. All right, I know it's pre-season friendly. I would have just left that out. Right. Right, come on, check. Come on, check. Come on, check. Come on, check. Check saved it, but then he, he went in. He, he got his hand, well, he didn't save it, he got his hand to uh, sort of push it in. Lacazette used to take penalties all the time for Leo, and he's, he's expert. Expert. Great player. Took a lot of balls out because he missed in the last game. It's 
great penalty as well. ended. Uh, Arsenal winning on penalties, a really dramatic penalty shootout, dramatic ending of the game as well and I'll tell you what, I really enjoyed it. It's been a nice trip to Dublin. Yep. The, the thing well, earlier on with Sol right, Campbell, right. that was yeah. really good. Um, the hospitality of the Irish and we had the luck of the Irish. Um, well, not luck, you know what, I think we deserve to get yeah, something man, out of the game. Yeah, knocking down that door, blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know what? It's a nice stadium, isn't it? it is it's where they play all the rugby in, you know? Yeah, like the national games, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, it was good. Good, really enjoyed it um, in Ireland. It's on to Sweden next. Yeah. Right, we're also going to be playing Lazio. But I think, you know what? This has been the biggest test so far since we've been on pre-season. You know I mean? Chelsea, they, especially in the first half, they had a really strong team out. And uh, you know what? <laughs> it was a... <laughs> Some of the players, a couple of players didn't really pass the test yeah. earlier on. <laughs> who are you think? You know who, Vlad? Hector. Yeah, that right back. Yeah, he had a poor game. But listen, this is where you iron out the, the cracks. Yeah, let's get the know. mistakes out. Get the mistakes out City, now. Innit? Not going to judge no one now. Yeah. He's going to be when the season starts. Mm. It's, it's all about learning at this stage. Yeah. I like the fact that in the second half, Emery had them really pressing. They didn't give a Chelsea back for any time. They made a lot of mistakes and uh, we started getting a lot of joy. So there's positives and some negatives. That's what it's all about in a pre-season. I think there were more positives. Definitely more positives. Yeah. Definitely more positives. More positives than negatives. And do you know what? I like it. Dublin, man. Dublin's on. Yeah. 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 I enjoyed Dublin's it. Lit I'm coming back. <laughs> back again. <laughs> Dublin is lit. But listen to me go, I ain't eating no food all day, man. I've been so busy. Come and go so, munch. Get a bag, get a bag. Go munch. 